hello everyone welcome to my channel uh, in this video we are going to discuss about shift reduce parsing it's a type of bottom up parsing so before getting into the concept i request all my viewers to subscribe to my channel okay let us see what is shift reduce parsing it's a form of bottom up parsing in fact all the bottom up parser we can call it as shift reduce parsers in general so this is just a block diagram I have given uh, to get an idea how the parsing is happening. This is a control unit. Input string is available in the input buffer. This control unit is scanning the input buffer from left to right character by character and dollar indicates the end of the string. At the same time it shifts some symbols onto the stack and it finds the perfect handle whatever is pushed onto the stack and that handle will be replaced by the head of the production rule. By the way, it performs some reduction action and finally it keeps only the dollar. Uh, see here, initially the stack is empty. The emptiness of the stack is marked by dollar and the input buffer will contain the string W and the end of the string is marked by dollar. This is the initial status of the parser. Once the parsing is done, once the string is completely consumed by the parser, finally, the stack should contain the start symbol of the grammar S. Yes. Please all of you remember it is bottom-up parsing. Bottom-up parsing means what? From the leaves of the parse tree, the tree is step-by-step step, it is reduced to the root of the parse tree. At the root, we have always the start symbol of the grammar. So finally, the stack contains the start symbol of the grammar and the input buffer contains only the dollar. It means it has reached the end of the string. Dollar is the right hand marker which indicates the end of the string. So this we need to remember. At the same time we have to remember this is the bottom up parsing. Okay. What are the possible actions performed by shift reduce parser? It performs four actions. Shift, reduce, accept and error. Now let us see what, what, what does it mean. Shift means it shift symbols that is the input symbols from input buffer to the stack that is shift operation. What is reduce operation? Shift reduce parser finds perfect handle handle I already explained in the previous video finds handle on the stack and reduces it to the head of the production rule reduces it to the head of the production rule so what is except when the string is completely read by the parser if the final state of the stack is this and final state of the input buffer that is the input buffer it is containing only the dollar symbol it means the string is recognized by the parser that is known as the accepting state. So the stack should contain the start symbol and the input pointer or the read write pointer is pointing to the dollar in the input buffer it is accept state it means string is recognized by parser that is accept state string is recognized by parser otherwise it is error in general at this stage whatever the errors are recognized by the parser are nothing but syntax error okay let us understand this four actions of the parser with an example now So let us take the same expression grammar here in this example I have showed the derivation of the string id plus id at the end of the string there is a dollar symbol okay e is the start of the symbol e is replaced by t t is replaced by f f is further replaced by this e with parenthesis then this e is replaced by e plus t then rightmost variable is chosen because we know that bottom up parsing means rmd in reverse so every time when we attempt to derive a string we have to do the rightmost derivation so t is replaced by f 
then f is replaced by id then this e is replaced by t then this t is replaced by f finally we obtained the expected string id plus id right now i have to show this in the form of a table so the table contains stack with respect to the block diagram i have given this table so this is a stack i'm going to display the stack contents in the first column then the second column is nothing but the input buffer and the last column is nothing but the action taken by the parser so let me write it as a parser action and already i said that what are the four possible actions taken by the parser either shift reduce accept or error so this is what we are going to understand now so in the input buffer what is the string available it is id plus id within the parenthesis dollar right initially the stack is empty the emptiness of the stack is marked by dollar now so what is the first action to be taken by the parser it performs shift operation it means the very first symbol is shifted on to the stack right now the input buffer or the input tape contains id plus id the close parenthesis and then the dollar next what is available here id is available here what is to be done whether it is to be shifted or what action to be performed as of now shift is only the possible action let us perform that so dollar open parenthesis already there id is also shifted now the input buffer contains plus id close parenthesis and the dollar now what is the next action to be taken whether the plus is to be shifted or id can be reduced to f this is the confusion right we can call it as shift reduce conflict whether the symbol in the input tape is to be shifted onto the stack or already some handle we identified onto the stack whether that should be reduced so this is a question now in order to avoid all the confusions let us follow this rightmost derivation in the reverse order right so what has happened here id is reduced to f so let me write the action like reduce action is to be taken as per the rule f derives id so what happens here dollar open parenthesis this id is reduced to f so input buffer contains plus id parenthesis and dollar what is the next possible action whether this plus is to be shifted or this f can be further reduced to t because we have the production rule t derives f in the grammar right so that is a confusion so let us follow this what happened here f is reduced to t so reduce action is to be taken by rule what is the rule t derives f isn't it so reduce by rule t derives f so now this f is reduced to t so still the input buffer contains plus id dollar so what is the next action to be taken let us follow this t is reduced to e here right so what is to be done again reduce action to be taken reduce by rule e derives t this rule is there in the grammar so in the stack dollar t is reduced to e so still input buffer contains plus id the close parenthesis and the dollar okay what is the next thing to be taken anyhow e cannot be further reduced so only option is the plus is to be shifted so shift the plus symbol onto the stack dollar open parenthesis e plus now input buffer contains this id close parenthesis and the dollar what is the next action to be taken only the shift operation is possible e plus is not a perfect handle right because we don't have the right hand side containing e plus in our grammar so the next possible action is shift shift id now right so dollar e plus id close parenthesis and dollar is there in the input buffer what is the next action to be taken now this id can be reduced id can be reduced to f even our uh, rightmost derivation also says the same thing we were there earlier this t was reduced to f then this plus was shifted onto the stack now this id must be reduced to f so let us do that reduce 
by rule f derives id so what is to be done here dollar e plus this id must be reduced to f so close parenthesis is there dollar is there now next as per the rightmost derivation further f is also reduced to t so the rule is t derives f so what is to be done here dollar e plus this f is reduced to t close parenthesis and then e so what is to be done at the next moment what what action to be taken whether this e plus t can be reduced to e or further this close parenthesis is to be shifted that is a question right now the thing is first shift the sorry first e plus t must be reduced to e reduce by rule e derives e plus t so dollar this entirely e plus t is reduced to e now close parenthesis and dollar is there the next possible action is shift so shift the symbol close parenthesis so let us shift the symbol close parenthesis here now the input buffer is containing only the dollar or you can say that the read write pointer is pointing only to the dollar all the string is completely read by the parser so what is the action to be taken now this can be reduced to f so reduce this e to f so what is the rule we have f derives e so dollar now this is totally reduced to f dollar so further this f can be reduced by the rule t derives f so dollar t now only dollar is here as usual in the input buffer finally this t also can be reduced to e because we have the rule e derives t so dollar e dollar now look into the status of the stack as well as the input buffer stack contains dollar e input buffer contains dollar it means the parser has accepted or recognized the string we have reached the state of accept this is how the shift reduce parser works or this is how bottom up parser works now i want to highlight two things now there are two types of conflicts possible when sr parser when bottom up parsing action takes place let us see what are those two types of conflicts there are two types of conflicts first conflict i have given already the example the first conflict is shift or reduce conflict it means the shift reduce parser may confuse or may get confused whether to shift as a symbol from the input buffer onto the stack or it can reduce some identified handle to the head of the production row such type of conflict is known as shift reduce conflict the parser does not know whether to perform shift action or the reduce action there is another type of conflict reduce reduce conflict this conflict we have we have not come across in this example in fact this grammar itself uh, own to produce this conflict what is reduce reduce conflict i will give you an example here right for example uh, let us take that t also uh, derives e something like this in the grammar so when it has the parser has found a perfect handle e it does not know whether the e can be reduced to f or the e can be reduced to t such type of conflicts are known as reduce reduce conflict it does not know which type of reduce operation is to be performed so uh, presenting these two type of conflicts as an answer when the sr parsing is asked is very important i hope you would have understood what is shift reduce parsing with this example if any doubt is there please mention in the comment section i will meet you in the next video thank you